Hi guys! Dorotea here and I have a new tutorial for crochet baby shoes for you. This is not a brand new design, it was released almost a year ago as a written pattern on my blog. And because some parts of these shoes can be a bit tricky to make, I've decided to film a video tutorial. Link to this pattern is in the description box down below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will do my best to answer as best as I can. And if you would like to see more crochet tutorials like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Now let me show you what you will need for this project. You will need DK weight 100% cotton yarn, 3.25mm crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch markers and two buttons. Let's start with the sole part. Create a magic ring. Insert the hook into the loop and pull the ends. Create a chain of 10. Now start in the second chain from the hook and create two half double crochet stitches. This is your first half double crochet stitch. And this is the second one. Place the marker into the first one. Work one half double crochet stitch into next seven stitches. Make sure the stitches are nice and tight. Now make 5 half double crochet stitches into the same chain. Now work one half double crochet stitch into the next seven stitches. As you can see, I'm working around the tail. This is my first half double crochet. Again, I am working around the tail. The second one. And because my tail is now nicely secured, I can just cut the tail off. Work 3 half double crochet stitches into the last one.
This is the end of our first round. To join the round, create a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. This stitch is just a joining stitch and does not count as a stitch, so we will not count it as a stitch in the next round. Chain 1. Now work 2 half double crochet stitches into next 2 stitches. Don't forget to place the marker into the first stitch of the round. Now work one half double crochet stitch into next seven stitches. Two half double crochet stitches into next five stitches. Again, work one half double crochet stitch into next seven stitches. Work two half double crochet stitches into next three stitches. Do not forget to skip slip stitch from the previous round. Now join the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. chain 1. Now repeat 2 half double crochet stitches into the same stitch, 1 half double crochet stitch into next one 2 times. When we crochet in rounds we have to make sure we always start in the same stitch so the seam is nice and clear. In this case this would be in first stitch from the previous round. Our first stitch from the previous round is the one with a slip stitch. If you accidentally miss this stitch you will be one stitch short at the end of the round. In this case make your last stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. I will show you how to do that in this round. Work one half double crochet into next seven stitches. Now repeat 2 half double crochet stitches into the same stitch, 1 half double crochet stitch into the next one 5 times. One half double crochet stitch into next seven stitches. Repeat. 
repeat two half double crochet stitches into the same one half double crochet stitch into the next one three times. Now I will make my last stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Be careful because this will move your whole round for one stitch. In my case this is not so important because it doesn't matter where on the sole will be my last stitch. But if this happened to you on the upper part of the shoe I would recommend you to start the round again and make your first stitch into the stitch from the previous round. If you will move your rounds for a few stitches the decreased stitches will not be on the right place and the whole shoe will be a bit off. Now let's continue with the upper part. Here you can see how the round 3 looks like on the top. So these are front and our back loops and we will work in back loops only. You can see the difference between using 3.25 mm crochet hook, so made with same yarn weight, but in 3.75 mm hook. Find the back center stitch of the sole. You can do that by folding sole on half, and stitch in the middle is actually the one you want. Our first round is made of half double crochet stitches, so work 44 half double crochet stitches. So here we are at the end of the round 1 of the upper part, join the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Chain 1 start in the first stitch from the previous round. Work one single crochet stitch into each stitch around, so at the end of the round you have to have 44 stitches. Again we are joining the round with a slip stitch, this is the end of the round 2.
chain one and let's start with the round three work one single crochet stitch into next 11 stitches place the marker Now repeat, half double crochet 2 together stitch, one half double crochet stitch into next 2 stitches, 5 times. Half double crochet two together stitch. One single crochet stitch into next 11 stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch, chain 1, one single crochet stitch into next 12 stitches, half double crochet stitch into the next one now create half double crochet two together stitch repeat double crochet two together stitch four times Half double crochet two together stitch, half double crochet stitch into the next one, work one single crochet stitch into next 12 stitches.
Join the round with a slip stitch. Chain 1 1 single crochet stitch into next 11 stitches Half double crochet two together stitch Repeat the double crochet two together stitch three times Work half double crochet two together stitch again. Now work one single crochet stitch into next 11 stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch Now we will work on the strap Let's start with the right shoe Place shoe in front of you Start in the 11th stitch from the heel We will work towards the front part. Chain one into the first one. Single crochet into next two stitches. Half double crochet into next 22 stitches Single crochet into next two. Now chain sixteen.
turn. Start in the 6th chain from the hook Work next 11 half double crochet stitches into the chain. Half double crochet into next 24 stitches. Single crochet into next two stitches. Now work slip stitch into the last one. Let's continue on the left strap. Start in the 17th stitch from the heel. Again, we will work towards the front part. Chain 1 into the first stitch. Single crochet into next 2 stitches. Half double crochet into next 22 stitches. Single crochet into next two stitches. Now chain 16. Turn. Start in the 6th chain from the hook.
work next 11 half double crochet stitches into the chain Half double crochet into next 24 stitches. Single crochet into next two. Work slip stitch into the last one. Take a darker shade of yarn and slip stitch all the way around the upper part of the strap. Make a few stitches in the buttonhole and continue crocheting slip stitches on the lower part of the strap. This part is not in the written pattern, it's totally optional. Take a yarn needle and some yarn in color of your shoe sole, with needle going from the outside to the inside, create a nice edge. A 
attach the buttons. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you didn't yet, and until next time, bye!